Hey guys, really, really dark here. Um, it gets dark around four in Sweden. Um, I've been reading Will Smith's biography. Um, amazing, amazing book. I think I'm two thirds the way through it right now. And there were loads of questions. I mean, I don't know if you saw when they did that Red Table thing where they had a brief split where JD was seeing August the Rapper and you felt like he was still hurt, even though apparently it was open and they had an open marriage for that period of time. And apparently they don't now. It was just like um, I had quite a lot of questions about doing this reading and I haven't for ages until I started reading the book because it was like on the list and now I'm reading the book right now. Um, I want to know as well. So here's some of the questions that I had right now. Um, one of the ones was apparently now, you know, they've come back together. Um, how does she feel about him? That was one of the ones. Another one was how does he feel about her right now? This is the energy right now around them. How does he really feel about her in August when she had, um, you can say it was like an affair she had with a rapper because they were split up. They weren't together at that time, so it wasn't an affair. They gave, gave each other the freedom to do and explore what they wanted to do, basically. So it wasn't an affair. But he acted all cool about it, like, yeah, it was just where we were at the time and kind of laughed it off. And that's not something I'd laugh off. Um, is he still got, has he still got hang-ups over that? Because obviously this guy was a lot younger as well, you know? Um... Also, what's the near future looking like for them? So what's the energy in the near future? Um, obviously, straight away, I mean, uh, I don't probably need to tell you this, but it's obvious she wears the trousers. She has a lot more masculine energy, I feel, than he does. I mean, that's pretty obvious just by looking at them, you know, um, the vibe they give off. I would say he's definitely more submissive in the way that he tries to keep her happy. He wants to keep the bond going, but I feel he worries that he won't be able to, I just heard, satisfy her, satisfy her. So for me, that was maybe something sexual. Um, can't satisfy her. This doesn't do with money. Um, I hear an intensity, an intensity as well. Um, satisfy her. That's really interesting. Satisfy her with the intensity. And I feel that sexual, if I'm honest, I do. Right, let's just see. How does she feel about him right now? I love Will Smith. How does she feel about him? What's her energy about him right now? How does she feel about him right now? Are, are they in a good place? Oh. This is not good. <laughs> okay. So, as always, hope I'm wrong on this. Okay? Hope I'm wrong. Um, Six of Swords. Her energy is moving away from him again. So it's actually moving away from him, not towards him right now. This is the energy at the moment. Um, I feel the book that's come out as well has created some distance as well. Um, I feel she feels even more pressure to stay together because he was on about how they resolved everything and so it's, um, they're together till the end, ride and die, all that kind of stuff. And in a way, she, I don't know if she's voices to him, but it's almost like the whole world is watching their marriage even more now. And she feels even under more pressure to prove the book right. Like, yeah, it's going to be great. We're going to be together for life. I feel she's under um, roped in. Roped in for me means constricted, feeling like you're roped in, you don't have that escape or that freedom anymore. It's all out in the open and she feels there's even more pressure on her now than what she had before. So that's coming across quite strongly there with what I'm picking up, what I'm sensing. Then we also have the Eight of Swords here, which nearly always comes up in my readings. And it means somebody does not want to be tied down. They do not want a serious commitment. Um... They kind of come and go back and forward. It's just every time I get to reading, it could be somebody that's um, kind of one of those on and off connections where they give you the world, but they won't quite step up and be like a boyfriend or a partner or anything like that. When you're together, it's like you're a couple, but they never will quite commit and seal the deal. So her energy is not fully committing. Her energy is moving away from him right now. And... Everything about this card is her going inwards. I mean, her energy's moving away. She's not keen on a solid commitment. And the hermit means literally being a hermit, going off by yourself, wanting time out, wanting time away. And I just really feel the book has put a lot of pressure on her. I do. I feel it's put a lot of pressure on her. Um, I hear fairy tale ending. So it's almost like she believes people want the fairy tale ending on her and it puts even more pressure on her now. So her energy around this right now about him, I hear roped in, roped in roped in hold on a minute i want to get this bang on roped in entice someone into doing something so you're roped into doing something you don't want to do so i just feel that's what's going on right now <sighs> okay so that's her energy her energy is not in it right now 
how does he feel about her? 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 It's kind of like the energy where he feels that if she gets to that point again where she wants freedom to explore, he will let her do it. But each time it's happening, it's going to make things worse between them. It's almost like I heard how many more times. So how many more times is she going to ask for freedom to do what she wants to do? This isn't all her. He He's done his things as well. All right. He's not an innocent party either. They've give, given permission to do this, what I'm trying to say. OK, but I feel the more it happens, it, it's going to break something. Something's already broken. And it's just going to make it work. It's going to shatter. It's going to shatter if this carries on. So how does he feel about her right now? What's his energy? How does he feel about her? How does he feel about her? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Soulmate. Soulmate energy. Million percent soulmate. He feels she is his equal... Their lifelong partners, their soulmates, ride and die. They're going to be together till the end. This is what he really feels. He really feels this is it. This is the one for me. No one else will satisfy me. This is the woman. This is the woman. This is the woman. This is the woman. The energy around him actually feels, it's strange. It's in a way, it's positive that they're going to make it through. And it's almost like very, he's, he's found it very therapeutic writing this book and getting everything out. It's almost like he just wanted to release it to the world because there's so many questions. So for him, he feels that now he's said everything, he feels in a better position. He feels better. He feels more confident. He feels happier in their connection. He feels they're moving onwards. But this is interesting. I think he's sensing that she's still not committed because this card has come up for him as well about the commitment, fully committing, fully, fully committing. There's just an energy around that. Oh, my God. <gasps> OK. Hermit. It's almost like he wants her to be this kind of person, to be the grounded, down-to-earth person, reliable, always there for you, um, always has a kind word, very grounded, very... The Earth, obviously, is a very stable, stable energy. I'm not sure what, sure what star sign she is, but it's almost like, I don't know if she's got air or fire, but it's kind of fiery, passionate air, hard to tie down. Her energy's hard to tie down. And he wants her to be the, the homemaker, the mother at home, he wants her to go back to being that, like the, the early, you know, the relationship they had earlier on. But I feel she's grown too much of that now and she's not going to be the same person. And I hear she will not be boxed in. She will not be boxed in. So I think he feels it's this is the woman for him. A million percent. That's how he feels. But he also knows she won't be boxed in and he wants her to be this person. She's not going to be that person because we've got this card for her as well, which means not fully committing, not fully committing. Not fully committing. Not fully committing and looking around at other options as well. Looking around at other options. I feel there could be something else again coming up soon where you hear about, you see her out with somebody and then the rumours are going to come back up. Are they in their open marriage again? Right, hold on. What does he want from this? What does he want? Let's do, I said about near future, look, okay. Let's see what he wants. What does he want from this? What does he want from this? What does he want from this? What does he want from this going forward? What does he want from this? It to be easier. Ten of Wands means being completely overloaded on breaking point. Literally, he just wants it to be easier. He wants balance. So he wants from this connection is balance. He feels like he's on breaking point again right now. And he actually wants the balance to come back into this relationship and it to be balanced. And it's not balanced. It's not balanced at all. It's not balanced at all. A lot of fire energy. He wants the happy family. Now, if you read if you read the book, it's about the cat that got the cream. It's on about he's very much a go getter. Whatever he wants. I mean, he wanted to be the top actor. You know, everything. He wants to be the best of what he can be. And he wants that for his family as well. He wants the perfect family. He wants to be the Hollywood movie star. You'd have to read his book to really understand what I'm getting at now if you haven't already. But it's almost like, I just hear what he wants, he's not going to get. He's not going to get it from his connection. I did hear a parting of, um, was it a parting of waves? Sorry, some of the stuff they say to me is just like, what the hell? Parting of, there could be another parting where they finally go their separate ways but let's just see it could be a temporary thing again remember i said it might be the open thing again right 
going forward, what's going to happen? Going forward, what's going to happen between them? Going forward, what's going to happen between them? I just thought she's not in it. I just thought she's not really in this. Going forward, what's going to happen? Going forward. I'm going to do an energy read. I do feel there's somebody else in the picture. I don't feel this is him here, believe it or not. I don't feel that's, that's his energy. I feel there's somebody else around her. Yes. Page of Cups. This is usually the love messenger card, the flirty text card, somebody reaching out in a flirty way, that kind of thing. And I feel this is linked to this person here. So I just feel going ahead. I'm not saying they're going to divorce all of a sudden. I don't see any cards that show a divorce. I feel they're going to carry on doing this for, for a while. Literally, it could be years. Um, there's nothing here that shows a sudden divorce or a sudden breakup or anything like that. But I do feel she's still going to carry on. Um, let's say, ask, I hear asking permission. So there's going to be times when she does want her permission to do, do her own thing. And I do see... It does look like this kind of flirty romantic messages. There's still things going on. Now, as I said, it's they've given each other freedom to do what they want. You know, in the past it didn't work for them. I feel like she may ask for it again coming up. She wants some freedom again from it, or she wants some time out. I feel he will give it to her because he just sees it as he wants the perfect family, he wants this to be lifelong. But I do feel this is a burden on him right now, this connection. Um, and that's everything I'm getting today, guys. So I will do a check-in later on. But I mean they've been together for a long time. You know, you, you grow apart as the years go on. You grow apart. It just happens naturally. But he really feels this is a soulmate, a million percent. This is my ride or day, the, die, the person I want to be with. Whereas her energy is moving away and going inwards more. I just feel a sense of boredom with her again. So that's everything for today. Bye, guys.